it's going down. I like the way it's going down. So this this trim right here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take those off because you got some nuts that's under steering column. You got the breakdown. You got a lot of stuff to unplug. So it's easier to get to all those wires once you get that taken off. To get this off right here, you're gonna have two screws inside. One here, one over on this side, Phillips. Then you got three on the bottom. One, two. Then you got three. Now take those three out. After that, get your small Allen wrench and take this off right here. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also a screw inside of this damn vent right here, which I gotta get to. So let me figure that out because I think I forgot. And then I'm gonna show you how to take that screw out and then we'll go from there. Now to get this vent out, it might be an easier way, but I just use a small pry tool. Just be careful, oop, it dropped, but be careful and just kind of dig in there, push that little pin down and then free up the top and then you can kind of lift it up off of the bottom. So you do want to get a pry tool, pry that vent out to give you access to this, uh, this other screw in the back. Cause all that's gotta be, all that's gotta come apart. So once you get that done, go ahead and start knocking out these screws right here. All right. Now to get your vent off, you want to use a uh, 1 16th Allen wrench. It goes right here in the bottom. And all you got to do is loosen that up. And that's how you get those off. That simple. Uh, let me move this. So now we can actually take off this whole part right here. But let me let me put down this phone and go ahead and get this out. And then I'll get back to you in a second. All right, now we got that out. This is what you're gonna be looking at right here. So what I like to do is start just taking off all of the uh, the wipers, the lights, take off all of those, just throw them in a box so you know where they are. Cause you're gonna have to disconnect them anyway. So at this point, you might as well just take them off and disconnect them so it'll be a little bit easier to um, mess with the dashboard. So I'm gonna knock these out and then I'm gonna get back with you in one second. Now each one is gonna have two screws. So let me zoom in here a little bit. So you got your two screws, then you got your two screws, and then you got another two screws. And then when you pull those out, they'll just unplug. So I'll, screw, I'll unscrew two of them and show you what the back of it's gonna look like that you're gonna unplug. So just give me one second. Y'all bear with me now. I'm trying, to make, I'm trying to do this step by step for you. So just give me a second, but, I, but I'm with you. All right, so I got two screws out the bottom one, and, and each three of these uh, switches are going to pretty much be the same. And all you got to do is pull this out and unclip it. And it's hard to do this with the phone in my hand. So uh, give me a second here. All right. And you just pull the tab that's on top on here, and they just come right out like real easy if you got to replace them that's exactly how you replace them that whole first process and then you just take them unscrew them replace them direct fit plug them right back in you shouldn't have no problem and these if i'm not mistaken they plug right into the 80s cadillac with with no adjustments or, or no wire cutting for these they just literally plug and play so i'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of these out and then we're gonna go back to the next step